Good morning. It's Sunday again, and it's the fifth Sunday in the remodel of our kitchen, entry, laundry, bath space. And this week we are at a new level with our remodel. We have all of our kitchen components in place. We have all of our flooring in place, and we have most of our bathroom in place. So let's start in the kitchen. In the kitchen, all of our cabinets are in place, uppers and lowers and all the knobs and the pulls are on all of the cabinet doors. The microwave is installed and working. External venting hood in place. It's very works nicely. We have one light. We have actually four settings for venting, uh, venting outside and I uh, mostly am using the quiet setting. Uh, we have a new microwave and it's pretty cool. You just put your hand over here and the door pops open. It's very, very nice. Last week the refrigerator was out in the aisle here because it was overheating. We have a temporary solution which is the grate over the uh, top of the uh, compressor and that's not a permanent solution. That's just so we can get it back into the space and it will not overheat. All of our toe kick is in place. All of our molding is in place. We have molding across all of the floor, including in the bathroom, to mimic the molding that's part of the house, this house originally. This house is from 1936. New, new opening to the dining room. So we have two openings. This mimics the other opening. Transitions are in. These are wooden transitions. So they were made for us by our car contractor. So there's one here. One in the original door opening, one to the living room, and one to go to the basement. I believe I showed you that last week. Now if we come across to the entry space, this is complete. The floor is complete. It also is showing the original molding. Here is something that was very important to us. I think we talked about it. How big was this transition from this new floor to this entry space and it is less than three quarters of an inch which is very easy to transition again this was custom made by our contractor and here was another problem area the door would open in such a way that when you came in you actually stepped down into the space and now it's fully flush again a, a very good improvement for us let's go into the laundry bath space so last week we didn't have a full floor, but now we have a full floor, we have a full shower pan. The way this is going to work is uh, this is uh, sloped and when you take a shower or if you had a, any other kind of water accident in this room, it will all slope down to this drain. We have a grab bar here, we have a seat. Also this week, are you trying to? Oh. Also, this week we have a washer dryer in this space. It's not complete. We don't have a top. It's not positioned quite right, but we have a washer dryer in this space. Um, we're waiting on skins for this uh, cabinet, and then there'll be a uh, clothes bar hanging here to allow us to uh, hang clothes as we're taking them out of the dryer. This door is an original door to the house. And uh, I wanted this here so that it looked like it belonged, like it had been here all along. So this is an original home door. And our new toilet with a grab bar here. So this is all handicap accessible for anyone we have as a visitor or for us as we need it when we age. This week, the things that are going to happen are uh, a painting. We should have a second coat of paint in this room, painting in the kitchen space, some of that has not been primed yet. Um, a li another little uh, light sand and another varnish on the woodwork. Um, now we have a few things to fix. We have a small uh, knockdown list. We should have countertops and uh, I think we're pretty much there. So we might be done next week, but maybe not, but we are close. Um, so it's Sunday. We're going to have a good week, we hope. We hope you have a good week also, and we'll talk to you next Sunday. Thank you.